Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to use isotretinoin. This video is part of a video series on your skin where we cover all kinds of skin related problems and drugs. If you're looking for that playlist, then check out the link in the description. Before we start, I will quickly introduce myself. My name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions and that's what this channel is all about. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. And now quickly, let's get started. The generic name of this medication is isotretinoin, but it's sold under several brand names like Accutane, Proaccutane, and Clarivis. And it's available as a capsule. Which brings us to the question, how can you use this drug? First of all, you swallow the capsule whole. Make sure to do so with half a glass of water. Do not chew on it and do not break the capsule because this can decrease the effectivity of the drug. It's also best to take this medication during a meal or right after a meal because this makes it easier for your intestines to resolve the medication. Now, usually the treatment can take four to six months, but your acne can keep on improving until two months after you stop taking isotretinoin. In addition, isotretinoin may increase your acne in the initial stages, first seven to 10 days. So beware and keep pushing through. Which brings us to the question, when should you use isotretinoin? Isotretinoin is one of the strongest drugs to treat acne, but it should only be used if all other treatment options are tried and were ineffective. Then before treatment is started, it is necessary to do a liver function test. This needs to be repeated after one month and then every three months of usage. And lastly, it's also recommended to do a blood test before starting the treatment, which needs to be repeated after one month and after four months of usage. And if any deviations are found, it's probably necessary to quit the treatment. Now then, what is the correct dosage to use? Usually your doctor prescribes you half a milligram per kilogram body weight, divided over one or two doses a day. After four weeks, the dose can be adjusted depending on the effect and the side effects. Usually the maintenance dose will be between 0.1 to 1 milligram per kilogram body weight per day. And as mentioned previously, the treatment usually takes 16 to 24 weeks. Now, one of the major downsides of using isotretinoin are its side effects. It can be very effective at treating acne, but it causes a lot of side effects. I will discuss the most common ones here, but if you're looking for a complete list, then ask your prescribing doctor or check your leaflet. Very commonly, so more than 10% of all patients might experience a dry skin, itching, a rash, skin irritation, irritation of your eyes, dry eyes, back pain, and changes in your blood values. Commonly, so 1% to 10% of all patients might experience a dry nose, a nosebleed, a headache, blood in your urine, and changes in your blood value. And rarely, isotretinoin might cause an allergic skin reaction, a severe allergic reaction, mood swings, anxiety, depression, and aggression. Which brings us to safety. Isotretinoin can be combined with any type of food. However, it can be dangerous to combine it with alcohol. As in rare situations, isotretinoin can be dangerous for your liver and alcohol can be as well. Therefore, it's advised to do not drink alcohol while using isotretinoin. But if you must, then drink a maximum of one glass a day for a maximum of five days a week. Isotretinoin could also cause dizziness, drowsiness, and some vision problems. If you're experiencing any of these, then please do not drive. This drug can also have interactions with other drugs. Therefore, always discuss this with your prescribing doctor. And lastly, avoid sun exposure and make sure to put on a lot of sunscreen. Which brings us to the last part of this video where we take a look at the safety during pregnancy or while breastfeeding. And isotretinoin is dangerous in both cases and should not be used. In fact, it's standard protocol to prescribe women birth control one month before starting isotretinoin up until one month after they are finished with the treatment. Therefore, always discuss this with your doctor and do not use it while pregnant or while breastfeeding. This brings us to the end of this video. I hope you learned something because that was the whole point of this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And if you wanna keep on learning, check out the playlist in the description or I will put it somewhere up there. And if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously and maybe it will help to let YouTube know this video is worth recommending to other viewers. Also consider subscribing, this will help out the channel tremendously and will help me reach my new milestone, 10,000 subscribers. Thank you all, and as always, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.